You are my champion. Giants fall when you stand undefeated. Every battle you won. I am who you say I am. You crown me with confidence. I am seated in the heavenly place undefeated. With the one who has conquered it all. Hello, my dear friends and family. I trust you are doing well today. Glory be to God. The image behind me is of our champion. Yes, Jesus Christ of Nazareth in his glory in heaven. Glory, glory be to God. Thank you so much, Jesus, for all you have done for us and you continue to do. Amen. Amen. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with today's word with Joel and Victoria. The scripture is from 1 Samuel 25, 25 in NIV. Please pay no attention, my Lord, to that wicked man, Nabal. He is just like his name. His name means fool and folly goes with him. The title of this devotional is In Tough Situations. 1 Samuel in 1 Samuel 25, Abigail was the wife of the cruel man who had so offended and outraged David that he and his men were on their way to kill Nabal and all of his men. Abigail intervened and persuaded David that her foolish husband was not worthy of any response. She saved many lives and she kept David from losing an everlasting dynasty through unjustice vengeance. That's what happens when you don't let unfair, a bad situation or lost cause, you can get discouraged and give up. What stops us many times is we have a good reason to live sour and defeated. A bad childhood, a bad relationship, the company, Let's us go. We wouldn't be taking, I'm uh, talking about Abigail, if she had used her husband as an excuse to do the right thing. She was honoring God, being her best, a person of integrity, despite her situation. That's a test. Don't let an excuse keep you from your greatness. Take your stand, knowing that what tries to stop you is only setting you up for something greater. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that it's possible to rise above every difficult situation and relationships too. And Father, that we would just walk in your integrity. We would stay in your peace. And Father, we thank you that we can keep honoring you and overcoming what could easily cause us to live sour and fail. So Lord, we will continue to stay in your greatness, to remember that you are our champion and you have gone through so much in this lifetime and have given us such great examples of who you are, how you handled everything. And so we just want to lift ourselves to you. And Father, we desire to abide in you as you abide in us, for us to just walk the way you have walked on this green earth. We know it's possible because you've done it. Thank you, Jesus. We love you with all of our hearts, mind, souls, and spirit. In Jesus' glorious name we pray. Amen. 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 And amen. Until tomorrow, my dear friends. Adios.